Hey kids, John here. Wanted to talk just for a minute about piccolo trumpet basics. All right, this is a four valve piccolo trumpet. Why do you have a pinky ring if it has four valves? Let me hook you up with a real quick answer. Pinky in, three on, hand here, one over the top. Whoa, okay? So that's how I play this. If you wanna play it like this, that's great. But you have the option of doing this, all right? Four valve. Again, I recommend the four valve Y because you do have a greater capability with a four valve piccolo trumpet. Now, one of the other important things that you want to understand is piccolo trumpets come in two keys. You've got B flat and you've got A. Now, not all piccolo trumpets have two pipes. They have one but it's a longer pipe that allows you to go from B flat and then you keep pulling it out and it becomes an A. All right, but the Stan V comes with two pipes. These are trumpet shank pipes where I can put in my trumpet mouthpiece and play the piccolo. But there are those out there that come with cornet shank pipes. And the thing is, the cornet is not going to, it's not going to fit in the trumpet pipe, okay? And the trumpet is not going to fit, it doesn't go in. So, you got to know if the piccolo that you're trying to buy or trying, trying out is a trumpet mouthpiece or cornet mouthpiece piccolo, and, and you can get these pipes these are the pipes that, that came with my Stanvi, and I asked for a cornet one as well. Let's get to this fourth valve. Why? Here's where this comes in. That's F, C, A. You want to be able to go to the bottom note. So if you're doing that and you don't have a fourth valve, you have to play a pedal tone. And pedal tones on piccolo don't sound so good, all right? So you kick in this fourth valve. So that's what that's for, is to help you get some bottom notes. And you can play with the fourth valve, you can play all the way down to a C sharp. fingerings instead of maybe more in tune F sharp so what it does is it helps you get all, all the way down to a low C sharp and you can play pieces that are transposed from another key <clears throat> on the A pick okay so there's that with the fourth valve now Look at a couple more. Piccolos, Shoki P54, again four, four valve, same thing. Same, same thing, and then. So you can do the same thing. It's exactly the same. It's got the same setup with the four valves. These two are basically the same concept. Now, the, sh the Shoki only has one pipe, but if you're here on A, there's your F. Now, let's see if I can make a half step out of it. Let's hope I'm close. Now I'm in B flat. There it is. That's what it does. B flat A. You're just going down a half step. And so Shoki just gives you one pipe and you can order both the trumpet or cornet uh, shank pipes for that. Now, another cool horn, Yamaha YTR 9825. The YTR 9825. The nice thing about the Yamaha is they give you four pipes. So you get 
two cornet, an A and a B flat, and you get two trumpets, an A and a B flat. Okay, so you get all four. Nice, that's kind of cool. So, all right, how am I gonna get down to that low F? On the third valve here is a trigger that kicks in this rotor here, kicks that in, all right, and adds more tubing. When I want to play the low F, I have to have the third valve down. And then I push third valve down and kick the rotor. So I'll see if I can get my hands out of the way enough to show you what's going on. Okay, see how that works? But the thing about this is you're only going to go down two notes because you can only go you only have one more to go so you're only going to be able to drop to an E why do we want that bottom note if you have a piece in D and you don't have a D trumpet what do you do you pick up your piccolo you put on the A pipe and you play in F so if it's D major you're playing an F major and that makes the trills doable, which on C trumpet are like, you know, it's hard to play those trills. And on B flat, it's even worse. So you pick up the piccolo, it's got the right sound, it's very Baroque sounding, and you've got it covered. So let's take a listen real quick to these three horns being played on a, a small excerpt that does go down to that low F on the A piccolo trumpet. This is the Yamaha. This is the Stambi. Okay, so there's why you want to have that option. Great option to have, being able to go down to that bottom note. Now, you're asking, okay, great, why do I do these transpositions? How does it work? I think a great book to pick up for piccolo is a book entitled The Piccolo Trumpet Big Book. Okay, why this one? Well, this book covers a lot of things. This book talks about the history of piccolo trumpet, the types and brands of piccolo trumpets, mouthpieces, mutes, transpositions, and there it is. It gives you the transpositions, tuning, Baroque ornamentation, repertoire, tricks, interviews with, um, with famous performers. And this book is edited by David R. Hickman. So the piccolo trumpet big book edited by David R. Hickman. Highly recommend grabbing that. That'll help you understand Piccolo Trumpet. It's uh, a great book. Another great book to pick up is Piccolo Trumpet Studies, and this is by Phil Collins. Not the drummer, Phil Collins. This is Piccolo Trumpet Studies by Phil Collins. It's a great book that takes you through these uh, etudes or, or excerpts that start at an easier level for you to play, get used to playing it, and it gets a little bit more difficult as it goes. And it also expands your register because you're looking at being able to play in all registers. And let's take a look at what that means for piccolo trumpet. This is yet another quick excerpt that goes up to, the last one went down to the low F. Okay? This one's going to go to a high F. So let's give a listen to these three Piccolo trumpets going up in register. This is the Yamaha. This is the Stam. 
zombie. This is the shoki. To make things simple, let's jump over to the B flat piccolo. I've got my B flat pipe in. This has now become a B flat piccolo, which is the same thing as a B flat trumpet but it sounds an octave higher. And what do I mean by that? In other words, when you read the music, it sounds an octave above where you're seeing the note. So if it's a F at the bottom space of the staff, it sounds like this. All right, so if you're wondering why they do it that way, why wouldn't they write it where, it, where it's sounding? It's because of the fingerings. It makes it easier to think. That's F E D C. So when you're reading piccolo music, whether it's A or B flat, it's going to be written sounding an octave higher. So it'll be written an octave lower from what you're hearing. This is your, that's bottom space. And that is top line, but it sounds that's the F above high C, okay? That's the F above high C, but when you're reading it, it's just the F at the top of the staff. So psychologically, playing piccolo trumpet isn't as bad because you're looking at the meat and potatoes of things you're used to playing, so it's not so hard to read. And so what's the highest note? I believe it's an A that's written in the Brandenburg. I think that's the highest note that you're ever required to play. That A is a big deal, so don't, don't even feel like you have to do it because there's not, not everybody plays the Brandenburg. I never will. <laughs> not a goal, just saying, okay? But my goal is to be able to play some piccolo trumpet. If you can play from low F, that fourth valve, to high F, up there, you've got the meat and potatoes of the, of the piccolo range and you can pretty much play most everything that's out there. The Yamaha is a good axe. There's a few other Yamaha models. The Shulky P54, if you can find one used, awesome horn, you know. There's the Stombi Elite. Stombi Elite's a great horn. There's also some Selmers out there, some older Selmers that were super good horns. Maurice Andre played Selmer early on, you know, and, and, and uh, sounded amazing. So a lot of different piccolo trumpets. Don't just buy the cheapest one you can buy. All right, hope all of this helps. Till next time, kids, have a great day.